Hello everyone and welcome to our paper exploring risks in the metaverse and immersive digital economy. So the metaverse can be defined as encompassing all aspects of augmented reality, AR, mixed reality, MR and virtual reality, VR. So organisations across many sectors are attempting to leverage the early stages of the metaverse to achieve favourable business outcomes. Often this involves offering novel experiences and interactions with their business. So this can be an example of allowing customers to sample their products in the virtual environments. It is estimated that the value of the metaverse could reach $750 million by 2026. While the metaverse presents an attractive proposition for businesses and consumers, there are also many risks and uncertainties involved. Therefore, businesses must employ a risk identification and mitigation strategy. And in our paper, we address the associated risks, challenges and opportunities. So this talk will focus on key aspects of the paper, which include the metaverse and the multiverse, risks associated with the metaverse, addressing the metaverse risks, metaverse vulnerabilities and the technology, security practices for the metaverse, cybersecurity strategies in immersive technology, emerging concepts in the metaverse, and then metaverse management techniques going forward. So today companies use the term to refer to many different types of enhanced online environments. These can range from online video games like Fortnite to fledging virtual uh, workplaces like Microsoft's Mesh or Meta's Horizon workrooms to virtual dressing rooms and virtual operating rooms. So rather than a single shared virtual space, the current version of the metaverse is becoming a multiverse, a multitude of metaverses with limited interoperability as companies jockey for position. Some of the risks associated with the metaverse. So while most companies are focused on the opportunity and rewards of the metaverse, risk should be a focal point. So the list of risks uh, and our mitigation strategies are extensive, and these can include adoption of comprehensive security policies, safe data collection, processing, transmission and management, protecting the customer's personal data, increasing risk detection, ensuring compliance with new re uh, regulations associated with the virtual environments, and three main metaverse uh, risk standouts. This can be cybersecurity, technology, and the humans and people involved. So when addressing the metaverse risks, a risk assessment plan is recommended to easily keep track of any associated risks in order to identify and record any risks, eliminate their likelihood and impact on the brand, and aid in the prioritization and allocation of resources to mitigate risks based on a risk severity scoring system. So some vulnerabilities that we might find in the metaverse, this can include identity. So in the metaverse, um, where interactions take place among avatars, the identity verification challenge could be daunting. The environment feels very human, which encourages trust. Privacy, so eavesdropping will be an increased threat on some metaverse platforms. If you're conducting a confidential uh, discussion with someone, will you know uh, whether others whose avatars are in proximity are uh, listening in? So transactions, so if you're trying to close a deal in the metaverse, how can you verify its terms and conditions in the real world? So virtual banking, a possible application of the metaverse will present similar uh, challenges. And expanding the attack surface, so the metaverse will create more opportunities for cyber criminals to conduct social engineering uh, techniques. <coughs> confidence scams, frauds and more. So more sophisticated versions of today's attacks may find a home and be harder to detect as well. So some security practices we can aim to um, to uh, use, to utilise. So large companies can consider safety and privacy as an afterthought where the metaverse is concerned, um, and this can uh, demonstrate some significant cybersecurity issues. So these issues need to be addressed to build up trust in the metaverse, um, as it is relatively unknown and an emerging technology. Failing to provide safe virtual spaces can result in the loss of trust in the eyes of customers, uh, businesses employing virtual reality technologies as part of the brand. Legislation must safeguard users by establishing strict laws and encompassing the convergence of the metaverse in the real world. And companies should also integrate content moderation into their technologies to address the content and behavior violating the law and the company's terms of agreement. So looking at some cybersecurity strategies in immersive technology. So protecting personal data. While companies can benefit from the vast amount of data generated by Metaverse users, 20 minutes um, of use can gather 2 million distinct data elements. Uh, protecting this data is paramount. So this is a difficult challenge due to the varying technical configurations of each Metaverse, therefore leading to lack of unified standards. 
As the metaverse will increase in popularity, it becomes a bigger target for malicious data breaches, and this is expe uh, especially significant uh, following disco discovery that users overwhelmingly fear for mirroring their real world selves in a virtual environment. So users are typically unaware of how much information they are willingly divulging uh, by doing this, and also its value to potential attackers. Therefore, industries must work together with policymakers in order to address this issue by planning for data gathering, storage and usage policies in line with existing laws. This could be, for example, GDPR. So the emerging cyber attack landscape. So while policing the metaverse will be a monumental task, it is crucial in order for its users to feel safe, as in the case of the real world. Users immersed in the metaverse devices can be exposed to exploits and lead to attackers influencing users in the real world by manipulating their virtual environment. Examples of this can include human joystick attacks, chaperone attacks and overlay attacks. So therefore, a significant responsibility will need to be addressed by the companies building the metaverse platforms, which can include implementation of security protocols and firewalls, antivirus software and machine learning techniques to detect, prevent and forecast attacks by analysing data trends. So some emerging concepts in the metaverse. Cybersecurity and privacy. So the metaverse presents a wide range of security challenges. One important challenge is the ability to address client vulnerabilities with both the hardware and software associated with VR and AR headsets. So these headsets can be an attack vector for malicious hackers who may cause disruption by spoofing locations, manipulating the devices and stealing the user's identities. Modern warfare as well. So the metaverse can present new opportunities for modern warfare and how the battlefield will change and adapt with the technology. Competing countries will present themselves to the future expansion in order to fulfill their goals. And the metaverse will be adopted the fastest by the military for training experiences. This can be particularly those that would be otherwise dangerous and high intensity. And the method of military training does not uh, does have limitations compared to the traditional approaches, but does have um, enhanced scalability as, as uh, the metaverse and that universe will scale. So also intelligent healthcare systems. So while the metaverse initially emerged as the entertainment and social media platform, it can uh, also be used positively uh, to affect society and the healthcare domain. So recent developments have suggested incorporating the metaverse into the field of medical technology alongside artificial intelligence. And the impact of this uh, include therapy, physical rehabilitation and image guided disease diagnosis. So there is a precedent for such an approach, for example, by reconstructing CT images virtually and conducting analysis using artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Therefore, it seems feasible for collaborations between metaverse developers and healthcare practitioners to result in improved patient outcomes. So the role of blockchain. So we could also see the introduction of virtual reality independent currency into the metaverse by incorporating blockchain technology. An example of this is the Sandbox, which is a platform working on a play to earn system utilizing Ethereum blockchain. As the metaverse provides a landscape for virtual worlds, opportunities can be demonstrated for owning digital assets. One of the most significant at the moment being digital real estate uh, within these worlds. However, there are legal issues to address in regard such as defining and understanding property ownership, transferring rights for value, transparency and settling disputes. The development of the metaverse could also greatly accelerate the process of asset tokenization. We can also look at digital twins. So the application of the metaverse to the digital twin will also contribute significantly to both industry and society. So digital twinning is an equivalent mapping of the virtual reality world to the physical world by bringing together computational, cyber and physical processes. This has led to applications such as forecasting and automated operations based on artificial intelligence technology. When we observe some of the metaverse management techniques, so brands will need to establish their priorities in assessing the unique metaverse risk mitigation responsibility by identifying risks and assessing their importance with special attention to security, data privacy, guidelines and monitoring, legislation, controlling and reporting. So this will need to be an ongoing process as the metaverse risks will continue to evolve and change as the technology advances, creating the need for an innovative and scalable legal, regulatory and technical solutions. Critical risks identified through the risk assessment document indicate the critical need to address potential lack of safety in the metaverse spaces, loss of personal data and cyber attacks. 
To support law enforcement efforts, brands must integrate content moderation into their process and technology to identify and address content and user behavior that violates user terms. It will require a twofold approach to providing solutions to the metaverse risks. The legislation will need to be established with the creation of international and global authority and standards to regulate the metaverse, and in addition to companies establishing adequate programs to mitigate and respond to the metaverse risks, the new legislation must safeguard users by enabling strict laws that converge the real world and the metaverse. The laws will need to protect the user's safety and virtual avatars created by user developers. Um, so users and developers will need to aim to accounting uh, for the unforeseen risks that can come with the expansion, increasing complexity of the metaverse. So in the paper, we make the emphasis on the overview and recommendations of the metaverse so that individuals and organizations can manage it better. The metaverse is an extension of brands and advertising has excellent potential to engage users in the future. Consumers in turn are eager to try the new technology and marketing experiences. However, brands will be increasingly met with challenges, including cybersecurity, threats to customer trust, brand perception and digital rights management. While newly identified metaverse risks are common across industries, brands will also need to establish their priorities in assessing the unique metaverse risk mitigation responsibility and by identifying risks and assessing their importance with special attention to cybersecurity, data privacy guidelines and monitoring, legislation, controlling and reporting. Some of the key reasons to cite our paper and the main contributions of our paper is a review of academic literature around immersive reality in the metaverse, a conceptualization of the cyber threat landscape in the immersive technology in the metaverse, and an approach to a set of recommendations to integrate risk, opportunity, and business strategy. We believe that our outputs can demonstrate impacts and provide uh, solutions to emerging issues and challenges in the area. Please consider reading and citing our paper if you find it helpful, relevant, or exciting to you, your colleagues, collaborators, friends, or students. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.